Hey everyone, in this video today we're going to be talking about uh, being able to edit the same photos on two different computers uh, using Lightroom Smart Previews and Dropbox. So the first thing I'm going to show you is where I keep my Lightroom catalogs. So as you'll see, I have Dropbox installed on my computer. Um, I don't access Dropbox normally from the web. I access it straight from my computer. Um, I have all of my files saved in here for the most part. Um, and I also save my Lightroom catalogs in here. So in my Lightroom folder, um, I currently have three different catalogs um, from the past three years, um, which I have saved into these specific folders. And that's where I keep my catalogs in my Dropbox um, folder. So when I open Lightroom, it will default to the last catalog that I opened, but I can change which catalog I wanna access by simply going open catalog, and then if I wanted to say open my 2016 catalog, I can open that, relaunch, skip backing up, and then Lightroom will relaunch with a 2016 catalog opened. So when you're using catalogs attached to Dropbox, um, any changes that you make to the catalog will sync. So you can see here that my Dropbox is currently syncing because I'm in the catalog and doing things. Um, so if I were to open this catalog on my other computer, I'm on my laptop right now, but if I were to open this catalog on my iMac, as long as my Dropbox catalog is synced and done, I will be able to access any edits that I made on this computer. So um, let's just say I were to make some edits, you know, right here. And, and what I forgot to mention, the reason that this happens is because I've created smart previews. So when you go to import photos, from your cards or from a file or whatever, you want to make sure that you have build smart previews checked once you import the or before you import the photos. Once you do that, you can work on the photos without having the images attached. So I don't currently have any images attached to my computer, and you can see that I still have access to the photos. If I were to look here under 2016, you'll see that Lightroom doesn't know where the images are, but since I've, connect, I've created smart previews, I can still actually access the, fi the, the pictures themselves and make edits to them. If I were to plug the, my CWP 2016 hard drive into this computer, then these would just no longer have a question mark. It would know exactly which, um, where those photos are, but I can still edit the photos. Now you don't wanna necessarily export anything um, because you'd be exporting off of the smart preview instead of the full size image. So you wanna make sure that before you're exporting that you do plug the images in. But that's not the, the point of this tutorial. Um, this tutorial is really just to show you how you can edit two different, uh, you can edit the same photos on two different computers. So if I were to go back and open my 2017 catalog, I go to my Dropbox, find my 2017 catalog, open that up, relaunch, skip this time, and it's going to relaunch Lightroom. And the same thing's going to happen because I don't have any images plugged into this computer right now. Um, it's going to show me all photographs, and then under 2017, it's going to say, we're not sure where those images are, um, but I can still access the images and make edits to them. Now, once I'm done editing, if I close out, you'll see that in your Dropbox that the catalogs are still syncing. So you wanna make sure before you go open this catalog on a different computer, you wanna make sure that everything is fully synced before you open it on another computer. So now everything is fully synced, so I can close out of this, and I can go to my other computer and open the catalog and open and, and edit the same pictures. So I hope that was helpful. If you have any questions, please feel free to let me know.